It's Alison Sikowski Bernamati, and the title of my talk was How Kanban Could Be Your Key to Your Agile Journey. Mm -hmm. So, Ali, there's a reason why we do this. We pull you right from the stage, right from the red carpet. How was your experience out there? How was it today? Great. Um, I think that the, the rehearsal that we had earlier kind of got the jurors out a little bit more, and I was able to take the feedback from my peer speakers, as well as some of the um, journey team, I believe was, is the term, and I was able to just get out what I needed to, to share and you know show that it was an idea worth spreading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like most people say that they were more nervous yesterday or to, in your case today when you mm -hmm. do the rehearsal. And yeah. then once I get up there, even though the people are here and you yeah. know, like the live stream is rolling, so yeah. it was really good. And Wilmington's a tech city. There's a lot of people here who they are connected to your message, you know, and they're here and they're super excited. And even though when I saw the hands, who, who hasn't been to a TEDx before? There's a lot of hands up, mm -hmm. but they're ready. They're ready for your talk. They're ready for your message. And could you see that? Oftentimes speakers, they say they could almost visualize the transfer of information. Could you kind of feel that like thought reciprocity here today? Um, to be honest, I, <laughs> I wasn't, I, I think I was purposely trying to, to make sure I spanned across the room that I, I wasn't um, keying in on people's faces as much, which is a, you know, since it's the first time I'm doing a, a talk like this, it's probably something I can improve on. But I think that, like you said, the energy and, and the applause afterwards kind of, you know, was at least a reassuring thing that they, they didn't think it sucked at least. <laughs> But um, I think a lot of people, too, that may have not been to the actual events, that they most likely have watched them online before. So mm -hmm. they probably had an idea and, you know, saw the, the different speakers and, and their topics. So hopefully they were coming to particularly hear about some of our topics. So that's always encouraging, too. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. So these people here tonight, they're gonna to go home to their families, and then people will watch, because your talk will definitely make the YouTube ar archives. People will watch your talk, you know, when they're up at night, they'll watch three, four TEDx talks. And then they're gonna to talk to their friends the next day, and they're gonna talk about your talk. And what would you want to be that core takeaway, core message, like individual thing that they will reiterate to their families from your talk here today? I think especially because Wilmington being, and particularly this audience here, is probably tech, more tech heavy than probably some of the other uh, events, that that core message would be that there are other options to getting their work done in a professional or in a personal, um, in their lives. So I think that that is the, the main message, that if something's not working, why keep doing it? Mm -hmm. And if you have options, why don't you try it out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the whole, uh, you know, insanity is like keep keep trying. Yeah, why would you do that? Just change it. Oh, up. the definition the of insanity, agile. like yeah. if you keep getting the same results. Yeah. You expect <laughs> yeah, exactly. something different. Yes. Yeah, I definitely botched it a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I know what you meant. You know exactly what I meant. That's the whole like essence of agile. You know, fail fast, fail early. Yes. <laughs> so, this is my favorite question. Okay, and this is the final question. Now that you are an illustrious TEDx speaker, alum, congratulations, congratulations, <laughs> very prideful. Um, You've, you've been on this journey, millions of emails with Agit, videos, and, and the average amount of speaker prep is 50 hours to get to here, and you did a great job. So now that you can look back on all that, right, you've done it, you're an alum, what advice would you have for future TEDx speakers who've never done it before? Um, I would say that the, that preparation time is key. They might see these deadlines and say, oh, you know, oh, I have another thing due. But legitimately, if I didn't have those deadlines pushing me, I would have definitely not been prepared. And also, obviously, like practice, practice, practice. And also getting feedback from multiple types of people. So one of the things that I tried to do is I tried to give at least some part of the speech because I had different versions a little bit through the way, but um, trying to get different audiences. So someone that knows absolutely nothing about what I do, even if they're my family and they should probably know something, but they didn't. <laughs> so getting that opinion because they know nothing about it. So I really was trying to make my talk relevant 
and so that it could be digested from anybody. And that was a feedback that um, I had a, an actual TEDx uh, coach. Mm. So that was one of the things that she really instilled on me is that you really need to make it relatable and impactful and to make that message very clear and that they would stick with them. So the, all the preparation, definitely key. And then also getting feedback from people that have done it. Asking yeah. them if they think that I'm going down the right direction or not. Um, and then the last piece would probably be just um, your own research as well. Watching as many TEDx, TED Talks as possible. Um, I also um, was listening to the, the TED Talk audio book like every day on mm -hmm. the way to work just because it, I figured the more I listen to it, the more I instill in it. And it, get, it gave me ideas and it gave me um, things to talk about with my coach. So, and it really just, the time flew by and I already don't get enough sleep anyway, but it was totally worth being able to, you know, work with my coach, working with the other people, working with the, the team members for TEDx Wilmington. So it all, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll see what the feedback is, but um, hopefully it was, you know, that message they could get across.